This is the best clan on the survival game, the Blue Steel Empire. And to prove they're the best, I gave them a massive castle to defend against 30 of my fans. They have to defend this banner at the top of the castle for one hour to win. If the raiders break it, they win 10,000 Blue Steel. The battle starts now. The raiders started setting up on an island in front of the castle. At first, they were really struggling to breach the castle walls. TBE were doing a good job of keeping them back. Oh yeah, by the way, TBE is short for the Blue Steel Empire. Even though the raiders were outmatched, they kept coming anyway. <gasps> by the way, guys, if this helps, the ones with the blue capes are from TBE. The raiders gave up on trying to brute force their way in. They quickly realized that attacking one at a time wasn't gonna work. They started building sky bridges so they could build over the walls and breach the castle that way instead. This was working a lot better for them, and they were finally starting to break into the castle. They even managed to make it all the way to the top. Freeze got 2 v one which put TBE in a bad Ooh. position. But the other members managed to deal with the threat in time. Otherwise, this would have been a very short video. Most of this video will be shown from Freezer's perspective since he was the only one recording on TBE. The raiders weren't going to make it easy for TBE and they were putting up quite a fight in front of the castle. The raiders have made a decent chunk of progress into the castle, but the defenders weren't going to give up that easily. It's probably time I show you guys the layout of the castle. As you can see, there's basically three levels to the castle. Level 1 is a deadly maze you have to go through. Level 2 is the throne room. And level 3 is where the banner is, surrounded by walls. If the raiders want to win, they need to destroy all of them. TBE started fighting back against the raiders and slowed their progress down a lot by destroying their bridges with ballistas. Right now, the raiders weren't attacking in an organized fashion, so TBE could pick them off in small groups. This made dealing with 30 players a lot easier for them. As I say that, Freeze is literally in a 2v1. By the way, I've just got to say, that 2v1 was so clutch. TBE had a lot of strategies to defend against the raiders. They had fake ladders installed to trick players into taking full damage. But my favorite one was this maze, which was filled with chests stacked with wood. This meant that when players would break the chest, their inventories would become full and they wouldn't be able to move. Bruh. The raiders started attacking from multiple sides. They were beginning to attack more in groups. It was slow progress, but they were doing significant damage to the castle. TBE wanted to rebuild broken parts of the base, but the game would freeze whenever you tried to build because the server couldn't handle the amount of structures placed. This castle was literally so big that the game couldn't handle it. This meant that the damage the raiders were doing was permanent. Even with this advantage the raiders had, they were still looking likely to win since TBE was having a pretty easy time holding them back. I'm acting like it was complete domination, but this fight was extremely close. This was a huge opportunity for the raiders to get a lot of damage on the banner walls. You might be wondering how Freeze could lose a fight against a random player. Well, that's because a lot of these guys weren't just random players. A lot of them were in TBE. I guess they also just happened to be fans of me as well. Even though they were literally having to fight their own members, TBE was still holding up pretty well. The Raiders had built a mini base to protect their ladder bridge. No matter how many times TBE broke it with ballistas, the Raiders just kept building it back up. Even though it was protected, Freeze decided to raid this base and destroy it anyway. I did tell TBE that I didn't want them to hunt down the Raiders because it would be a boring video if they did that. But if it's just outside the castle, then it's fine. This raider decided he was going to build a bridge from super far out so that TBE couldn't break the whole thing down. Which is absolutely crazy, but I kind of have to respect it, honestly. It didn't seem like the raiders had a whole lot of a chance, so I decided to make it more interesting. I would join the raiders team and try and help them out. But that didn't go so well. I was lagging badly and getting out play. The building tool pretty much broke the game. That didn't matter though, because I was still determined. Oh. 
Oh my god. That wall is glitched. As if the raiders weren't losing bad enough, now even the walls are out to get us. I had to start using blue steel armor since the obsidian update had just come out, and I was already running out of materials. Things were starting to look hopeless for the raiders. TB didn't have that many deaths, so they didn't have to worry about running out of resources. But the raiders were quickly running out of materials for armors and weapons. If things continued like this, then TBE would win the war of attrition. I don't know if I'm saying that word right, I I'm gonna go with it. They had 20 minutes left, and if they wanted to win, something had to change. A lone naked man was just not gonna cut it. I kept throwing myself at the walls anyway with no regard for my life at all. If the raiders were gonna have a chance of winning, it was gonna be through pure brute force. There was a positive though. Even though the raiders weren't able to beat TBE in combat, they could keep respawning and throwing themselves at the castle. Basically sacrificing their lives to do a bit of damage to the castle each time. And it was working. The castle was becoming extremely damaged. Remember guys, this is what it looked like at the start. This wasn't the end of the raiders' troubles though, since random players started going rogue and started sabotaging the raiders. Now it wasn't just TBE they had to worry about. These guys weren't as hard to handle though, as they were nowhere near as good as TBE in combat. If you want me to be able to stop stuff like this from happening in the future, then make sure to subscribe, because I need to get to 100,000 subscribers to get admin on this game, which would make videos like this so much easier and better to make. Anyway, back to the raid. The raiders managed to find this storage room with a bunch of blue steel looting gear. It was originally meant for the defenders to use, but since the update came out, blue steel pretty much became useless, so they didn't use it anyway, so at least someone gets to use it. This gave them everything they needed for one final push. TBE were holding their ground, but the raiders just kept coming. TBE were doing a great job of holding the raiders back, and they were so close to winning as well, but unfortunately... Eventually, the walls under the banner broke. The banner was gone. The raiders had won the event in the nick of time. I gave out all 10k of the blue steel to the winners. If you guys want to join events like this, then join my Discord in the description, alongside the TBE Discord. Also guys, next castle event, I'm gonna make sure the banner is on the floor, so the floor won't break underneath it, since that's literally how the Raiders have won for the last two events now. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed that video, then you'll probably like this one as well.